AC through a resistor. A figure shows a circuit containing pure resistor R. Let the applied voltage by given by equation E equals to E naught sine omega t equation 1. This applied voltage has to supply ohmic voltage drop only. Hence by Ohm's law E equals to IR from 1 E naught sine omega t equals to IR I equals to E naught by R sine omega t equation 2. I will be maximum when the sine omega t is unity. I naught equals to E naught by R equation 3. Hence equation 2 becomes I equals to I naught sine omega t. The instantaneous power dissipated in the resistor is P. P equals to EI. But E equals to E naught sine omega t. I equals to I naught sine omega t. P equals to E naught I naught sine square omega t. Average or true power over a complete cycle of AC. P equals to integration from 0 to T of E naught I naught sine square omega T dt by integration from 0 to T of dt. P equals to E naught I naught by T integration from 0 to T of sine square omega T dt. P equals to E naught I naught by 2T integration from 0 to T of 2 sine square omega T dt. P equals to E naught I naught by 2T integration from 0 to T. 1 minus cos 2 omega t dt. Therefore, cos 2 theta equals to 1 minus 2 sine square theta. P equals to E naught I naught by 2t into t minus sine square omega t by 2 omega from 0 to t. P equals to E naught I naught by 2t into t minus sine square 2 pi by t t by 2 into 2 pi by t minus 0 plus sine 0 by 2 omega p equals to E naught I naught by 2t t p equals to E naught I naught by 2 equals to E naught by root 2 I naught by root 2 p equals to E RMS I RMS therefore the average power per cycle is the product of virtual EMF and virtual current. The graph shows the variation of instantaneous power with time. It is clear that power is consumed at all times except when E and I are zero. It is also clear from the graph that the power consumed is always positive even when E and I are negative. Figure shows the voltage and current phases and their relationship at time t for the case of an AC source connected to a purely resistor. The projection of voltage and current phases on vertical axis or E naught sine omega t 
and I naught sine omega t respectively represented the values of voltage and current at that instant as they rotate with frequency omega curves in figure 7.4b are generated the phases E and I are in the same direction for all times therefore the phase difference between E and I in the case of purely resistive circuit is zero the representation of E and I by using diagram for purely negative circuit diagram projection of E and I on the vertical axis executes SHM 